Hey everyone, um, it's Jeremy here back again today. I want to show you guys um, my previous Max I made over the year. So I, I made a pretty good shitload. So yeah, um, I'm going to do uh, um, Dark Knight ones first. This is my um, Wayne Party Joker Thug Pantyhose Thug. Um, AKA um, his name is Pretty Boy that Bruce Wayne. Um, personally, um, names him that whenever he knocks him out before he enters his Batman outfit. So, yeah. I guess you can consider him as the guard. Because he's, like, hanging out outside the party. He wasn't exactly with the Joker, but... He was with the Joker, but not, you know, close to him. Compared to the other one that was wearing a pantyhose mask. So, yeah, he was, like, the, the guard of the Joker gang itself. Yeah, um, let's do another um, Dark Knight one. Um, this is the clown hostage that um, Batman um, discovers that underneath the mask is an innocent person that realizes that, oh, they're innocent people after all. They're not bad guys, as the other people thought. Like the SWAT team, for instance, they thought that these were just bad guys wearing the masks. Turns out they're innocent people that the Joker kidnapped. So, yeah, this is um. I refer to this one as a GCN, Gotham City News reporter, because um, that's what the man is underneath the mask. Whenever the Batman takes it off his face, it realizes that the Joker kidnapped the reporter. So, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. This is actually my first clown mask I made out of latex. My very first latex mask. Um, I enjoyed this one. I love this one. I was actually this for Halloween this year, and I love this guy. I love this character. Um, this is my Joker henchman, um, the truck thug. This is the one the Joker kicks and mocks after he fails to attempt to remove Batman's mask. In case you guys didn't know that. He kind of resembles the Grumpy from the bank robbery, you know, the bank robber leader. Since he has the same model, like whatever's the lip design, the smile, the cheekbones. So, yeah, it's just different makeup style, that's all. So, yeah. I might be thinking about making the one, the bank robbery one, just for the hell of it. Because, um, it costs a big-ass fortune to buy them on the computer. Unless you want to get the crappier kind, but go right ahead. Um, this is from Dark Knight Rises. I'm trying to point in my hand. <laughs> this is, um, the mercenary hoodie that they wore in the beginning. Um, Bane and, and his, um, mercenaries hostage. During the, the plane hijack scene. So that Bane can hide his identity along with his men. So yeah. He can either be Bane's or one of his background men of mercenaries. The two other ones. I think there were two other ones. Yeah, two other ones. Other than Bane that wear the hoodie. So yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another Dark Knight one. If not... Um, nope, that's pretty much about it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Jason Voorhees ones now. Um, this is the part six towards the end when he kills um two cops. Um, one he crushes the one's head and that explains the blood and gore matter on his mask. And the second one's Megan's father. They come he comes in last and he uses his shotgun that doesn't do anything, so he uses his pistol and um uses the ammo on his mask and blasts a bullet hole in his mask and give it a unique badass effect. Um, believe it or not, I've actually used a sparkler on this to burn the hole in it. <laughs> Just to give it a burn effect. What I did is, um, I used like a hot knife on a stove and I burned a hole in it. I didn't drill it because I'm not a very good driller person. And so what I did is, um, whenever I was done burning the hole in it, I used a sparkler and, you know, burned it. As you can see, it has a burn. Like, you can actually see the burn if this camera focuses good enough. But, oh well. Um, what I did is, um, I smoothed it out so that it won't, like, bug my head or itch my head as much as it did. Because this mask was a pain in the ass to wear, so I had to, like, smooth it out with a, um, hot metal of some sort and, you know, welded it smooth enough for it to not bug me as it did. So, yeah. Put that on the side from now. Um, this is my Frostbite Jason Voorhees.
on what a frozen Jason would look like in a winter condition. Um, oh yeah, my Jason cultist. Um, the backstory on this guy is that um, he's like a random asshole. Him and his group of friends, they were like a bunch of drunk ass teens that would like um have their own cult. They kind of s serve as a secondary antagonist other than Jason himself. So it's kind of like Tommy Jarvis, but he accidentally brought him back from the dead, right? So this guy, he purposely did it, just, you know, Jason could come back easily. So what he did is, is that um, he performed dark satanic rituals, um, <clears throat> necromancy. So yeah, that's what he pr pretty much did to bring him back from the dead. So he could continue his killing spree. So yeah. I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna have that in a fan film. Um, this is my, um, Jason Hood from part two. I stained it. It looks pretty good stained, I have to say. This is actually a black dab. I dabbed a little bit of black paint on here, and then I washed it off and give it a gray, a gray look to it a little bit. So, yeah. And that's it for the Jasons. Now I'm going to go to my screen mask. Um, this is just a random screen mask. I painted yellow. Nothing special about it, really. Um, this is my, um, alien popsicle mask. Um, this is my, um, alien cult mask. On what an alien cultist would look like. Just to be creative. and look scary for Halloween. Um, this is my, um, Purge background election year enemy during the, if you guys watch the election year, um, Sergeant Leo and the Senator Lady, um, they get kidnapped by the, the foreigners from the, across the, um, the countries itself, other countries, and they dress up as patriots because they were allowed in the border of the United States. So, so that they can purge freedomly. So, yeah. In case you guys know, that's from the scene. Of the Patriot crowd scene. Um, this is, um, Doodles. Um, these Clown Max right here. Wait. Yeah, there's, an, there's another Dark Knight one. But I'm, I'm gonna get to that eventually. Um, these Clown Max, um, I was actually gonna use them for my Purge Forever series down the road. As a, kind of like a scary crap. <laughs> I can't talk now. A scary, um, clown gang. Other than the ones that you've seen if you watch my series or not. Um, yeah, this is Doodles. As you can see, he has Doodles on him. And this is, um, Smokey. Um, the backstory on this guy is, is that, um, he's a drug addict. Because that hence his nickname. And you can put a cigarette in his mouth. That's what I was gonna do. Just to be silly. And scary at the same time. Whenever I do have my clown gang. Um. Down the road. For my uh, fan series. Um. Perch Forever series. Um. Because I enjoy the Purge movies. I thought they are cool. Um. This is my um, Dark Knight. Clown Hostage 2 mask. As you can see it has hair. Bluish hair. Happens to be one of my other favorite background ones of the movie. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much about it. And th these are the max I've done this year. Especially, I was out of the hospital getting back surgery, so I had nothing else to do. So, just make max. And there'll be more down the road eventually. So, yeah. And there's more to come. See ya.